Today I'm doing a climb in an old, well it's not an old, it's not super old, it's a white oak. Behind my old house, if you look through the trees way over there, you can see that big Victorian style farmhouse. That was my old house when my ex and I were together. That was 20, 2,800 square feet, I think. Okay, so what I've done is I've girth pitched this chain reactor sling that you can buy from treestuff.com, made in the USA, um, around here so that I can do a redirect. Now this is gonna be one that I will come back and get because like Derek was saying, on a post and single rope junk, you can go back through every redirect that you're doing until the very last one where you're coming out of the trees. So nice thing about this that you don't get with a web sling though, is to see each one of these loops are life, a life support rated. So you can clip your beaner into any one of these depending on what type of redirect you want, how high you want. With a web sling, obviously, it's just one long, long sling. This one, you have different lengths, different uh, areas where you can clip in. So for example, <clears throat> say I wanted a high one, I can just go here. And there, now you can see I'm working at a different angle. Like I can, now I could go down, descend right straight down here, work off a bunch of this stuff here while maintaining a good angle for work positioning. Rather than coming down here and possibly fighting you know, gravity this way, it's going to be a straight draw. Again, life support rated. Now this is just changing the angle of where I'm comfortable because now I'm not fighting. I don't have to lanyard in to maintain this position because if that wasn't there, obviously I'd be swinging into the trunk. So it's a great, great tool, very versatile. Now I can move along this limb pretty easily. because you can see up here my redirect is keeping my rope at the optimum angle so I don't have to fight it to try and stay out here. And in this instance, it'll be really easy to go back up to that point because it's just a straight shot. I can just pop in my, pop my foot ascender on, my little bungee over the shoulder and bang, right back up there. The internet is truly a wonderful tool, but don't do anything new until you do it low and slow. Obviously I'm in a controlled situation here. It, it fell, I'd probably still break a fingernail or something. Another thing you can do is if you want to say I wanted to pass through a redirect but I want to take my whole rope branch off and I'm going to put it around here or around here, say around this one because I'm going to work down in this area and I'm not going to come back up so I don't want to go through there. So what you can do is you can girth hitch the long loop to your bridge ring on your on your uh, chain reactor, <coughs> anchor off a beaner up on your climbing rope and then your lanyard in here. So then what you can do is take your rope wrench right off and you don't have any fear of dropping your rope wrench now, losing it. You can see it's hanging right here. So there's no danger at all of losing your wrench and you're still tied in, technically. If I fell, I'm still tied in right here. Even without my lanyard on, girth hitch this hitched up there to, uh, to a carabiner. This is all life support rated, so I'm not gonna fall. More importantly, I'm not gonna lose my wrench. You can see it's just hanging right there. So now, all I'd have to do is take it, pull it through this side. Now I'm tied in, so all I have to do to this
Take this off. Reverse my beaner. Take my beaner out. Now I'm back on the rope wrench, as you can see. Through a redirect now, so you want to tighten that up. So there, so now I'm back on the rope wrench through a redirect. But the whole time I was tied into my climbing line. My chain reactor is still here, so it, because it was girth, girth hitched to my bridge ring, so it's not going to go anywhere. So I can just take this out. the back of my saddle and voila done because the day because the danger of doing it this way is if I unclip this and I start trying to pull slack through here to get enough if I if you have a small error in judgment or if you have too many ropes or just slips and now this isn't bad because it's just over here but what happens if I was 20 feet out on limb and this swings away from me and I'm only lanyard in then I'm going to have a really hard time going back there to retrieve this. Or girth hitch it on here first, clove hitch that, and then put it to whatever loop you want for your individual height or how, the distance you want to be from this, the uh, clove hitch carabiner to your bridge ring. And again, if you slipped, it's still life support rated. You're never going to drop your rope wrench and your rope's not going to swing away from it. Again, another configuration that you can do just in case you didn't want to uh, you're going to be in this position for a while as in cabling because sometimes when you're cabling you might be cabling right here and you don't want to uh, have your lanyard up here or you don't want to have your lanyard here because it's in the way now I have my lanyard free so if I wanted to I could just do another point of attachment here and this allows you you know to be able to work in here now you probably notice my homemade ct ce lanyard actually doesn't have it's pinto because i forgot my ct fix today and i had to disassemble it put this on with the rope wrench it doesn't work very well so you guys who want to use the pinto with the rope wrench the ct fix or the isc fix is much better uh, the pinto is just too fat down here you can see it really has my one side of my hitch cord pushed over so it doesn't climb quite as smooth as I'd like it to. I'll drop my fucking sand DMM oval down there. Hopefully I find it. Uh, I think that's it right there. Oh well, maybe not. It'll be a tough find down there with all those oak leaves in the ground and brown being that it's fucking tan. I should have known better when I bought that. Don't overlook the, the other obvious option for this. Even though these are life, life rated, yes. You can just hang this in the tree and use it as your regular daisy chain. So you could put this in the tree and if you're working, you could clip you know, some tape in here if you're doing dynamic cabling. You could hang tools in here if you're doing bracing or static cabling. Um, you know, I could tie my tape cord through there. I could have everything hanging here right with me all clipped in there with a little micro beaner so it's easy to get to so don't overlook the, the fact that it's just a, a good all-round daisy the geese are flying to the field back there but can't you just envision a nice big buck coming across the beaver dam and right down through here yeah been there done that you can see i have another equalizing uh, redirect right here where this limb is too small to to get out on the rope angle i was on so I need to be able to hang straight. So I've got it girth hitched through the big loop here, up through the smaller one here, and I didn't go through the, the red. I went through the black because it's shorter. Again, having different lengths, different uh, pieces of individual webbing really helps because then it allows you the luxury of uh, picking the one that's right for you. And again, on a web sling, you wouldn't be allowed, you, you wouldn't be, ab be able to, sorry. So now, if I wanted to, 
next one to this rope over. I could get right out to the end of this. And get some of that dead stuff off, although that's pretty that's live. There is one dead one there. But, but easy handsaw reach.